epic levels in 5th edition, it doesn't exist, right? Or does it? What's going on guys, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I haven't done a Kickstarter spotlight video in a long time, and that's not really out of any particular reason, it's just one, it was more content that I was trying to push out every week, and at the same time, um, the nature of Kickstarter, right, sometimes I make a recommendation that I think is a really cool thing you should go check out, and then that company ends up negging on their deal, doesn't provide you with the product, and then you have to go through the hassle of not having any of your money because you paid for something that you never got. Or it takes a ridiculously long time to get it, and then you're kind of waiting, and does it really uh, you know, live up to the hype you've had wanting it for so long? That being said, I did want to talk about the Epic Legacy Campaign Codex from 2C Gaming. Uh, 2C Gaming has done a Kickstarter in the past, they had done this for the campaign rule book, or the epic uh, rule book, basically for epic levels for 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons. That was a labor of love that took a very long time to create. Uh, I believe at PAX Unplugged like two years ago, they had like a, a binder with some of the pages in there that was basically what it was going to be. I actually now own that book. It is in next door in the D&D room. Uh, and they're finally putting out a campaign codex, a DM's guide to epic level gaming what is epic level gaming that's games that take place after level 20 you've hit 20 now what in in old editions you could do what they call the epic level gaming epic level handbooks and things like that official sources from wizards or maybe even tsr where you could go from basically level 20 to level 30 and then obviously your skills abilities and the enemies you face are epic and more grand and things like that so we're going to jump over here to their Kickstarter page. So it basically just launched. There's 27 days left to go. You can see they've already met their goal, so it's going to happen. Um, and basically it is an epic level guide. And what's cool about this Kickstarter is you can get one book or the other or both. So what is Epic Legacy? Uh, 2C Gaming's epic expansion for 5th edition. Um you know we've envisioned tiers of play brought them to life in our epic legacy core rule book but the cool thing about that was you had the rules for epic paladins and epic fighters and clerics but you didn't really have a lot of campaign material and there's not too many monsters in the published sources that exist to give you a challenging experience for level 20 plus so with epic legacy you can advance pcs to level 30 through the most awesome power of epic prestige classes that complement every base class cast world shattering spells face down gods and monsters of incalculable strength and many many more uh many many more epic experiences that can't be found anywhere else in fifth edition so um here it says if you're new so this is for uh, some of you out there who are new to epic legacy um help introduce uh everything we have to offer to the game also offers the Epic Legacy Core Rulebook as its pre-order discount so you can easily jump into your first Epic game. Uh, as the Epic Legacy Core Rulebook has already been funded and fulfilled, we'll ship you a physical copy shortly after the successful campaign and make Epic Legacy PDFs available for download immediately upon the project's completion. Tons to explore and enjoy, and it is very, very uh, substantial. There's a lot to go through, which is awesome. You've also got lots of epic game materials to share with you, such as the formidable epic sorcerer, the Archon, which will be opening up right here. So here is the core rulebook. This is the front cover that you see. And we can basically see the Archon here is an epic level sorcerer, right? And you can see some of the stuff that you get. You got, you know, your high tier spells and, you know, here's right here's for a divine soul and, and things like that. Wild magic. I don't need to go into that. You guys can download that for yourself for free. You just saw me do it right here off the site. There will be a link, obviously, to this Kickstarter in the description if you'd like to pick up a copy for yourself. Uh, it says Epic Legacy Veteran, which I happen to be. Uh, since we've completed the core role, we've been itching to provide extra content, and the campaign codex is basically just that. There is Nexus, the City of Legends, um, which... This is how you're going to basically be able to springboard your campaign and... That's pretty much it. Campaign Springboard that seamlessly integrates new content into the streets and people. 
We built Nexus from the ground up using the Epic Lego City system. It's built in both power and scope, the scope, the perfect stomping grounds for Epic players, and the Idea Factory for Epic DMs. Um, and you can see here's the map. I mean, look at how extensive that is. Oh, I think we can actually open it as a separate image. Here, look at that. I mean, and you can see there's some color coding, but that is a... Can we zoom in on this? I mean, it's a little hard to see, but, like, look at this. We can see down to, like, the Institute of War, Trial of the Unknown Hero, Astalio's Realty. Like, there's stuff all the way down to that level. Uh, again, a little bit about the books, right? Like I said, this one already exists. The campaign, uh, the core rule book, I have that. And then campaign codex is the new one, which is basically your campaign setting. Um, different things about the prints. There are three epic level adventures currently released on the DMs Guild. Here you can see them, Frost Pine Horror, Trouble in Paradise, and Voyage on the Astral Seas, which are for 22, 24, and 26 level characters. Um, some different options, just showing some cool artificer and elementalist concepts. Um, epic artificer is there another freebie uh oh this is from the 2c gazette uh and we can see here's the epic artificer very cool close those Come back over here to the kickstarter epic races and race options uh again the two new classes the elementalist and the avatar some awesome 2c gaming art here showcasing epic dms um spell forge all about cool magic and making magic items and weapons and things for fifth edition and there again adventures arsenal free download click that to check that out or sorry here and then what are what are the tiers okay so 16 dollars gets you one or the other in digital form that's not bad 28 dollars gets you both digital forms of both the rule book and the codex 38 dollars gets you one or the other in print $73 gets you, oh, and it still gets you the PDF. $73 gets you both in print and both PDFs. $75 gets you one or the other in the deluxe, the deluxe higher version, higher print quality version, uh, and still uh, the PDF. Uh, $140 is deluxe prints of both and both PDFs. For the $200 one, the Nexus here, you can basically uh, design a black and white illustration with a brief paragraph of reference in it for inclusion in the book uh the 500 dollars one is a color version and for a thousand i don't know if this one's still available i know the 500 hundred dollar ones are all sold out two oh no rewards no longer available here so for the thousand dollars pdf and prints work alongside the founders of nexus to bring your vision to the epic city develop an art collection two black and white and one color illustration are similar and involve written reference, approximately three pages in the book for use in the Epic Legacy Campaign quote codex. Uh, includes alternative cover options and includes both PDFs, both prints, and everything we just talked about. I wish I had jumped on that because $500 for a piece of custom art isn't that much money and then it's forever emblazoned in a book. Stretch goals. Okay, we are at 14K, so we already uh, succeeded, but the first stretch goal is at 24.5. Um, currently it provides epic options only for races found in the core rule books. This will expand it to all fifth edition published races. So that's Volos and, uh, Morgan Canaan's, um, maybe Eberron too. Uh, the hive is 29. Hidden beneath the Nexus is a literal hive of scum and villainy. Those who eschew the civil chaos of the city above have constructed a ramshackle district hanging precariously from the city's underside. For those looking to lay low, acquire legal goods, or get up to no good, there's no better place in all of Nexus. It's 10 additional pages of high-quality content. It will be designed and authored by Grant Ellis of RPG fame. Grant is a good friend of me and friend of the channel, so I hope we get to see this. Because um, I know he works closely and for 2C Gaming in a lot of respects. He's going to be there at their booth. Uh, so hopefully we hit this. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, 30,000 is potion crafting. Better adventuring through chemistry with the alchemical secrets of Nexus unlocked. Players can brew custom potions for every adventuring need, and DMs can craft mysterious brews to reward epic heroes or empower devious villains. I also want to say that everything I'm talking about, about these weapon crafting rules and these potion crafting rules and all this stuff, this is designed for levels 20 to 30, but there's no reason you couldn't take 
the concept and sort of the things that they're doing and scale it back to incorporate it into your base level campaign, right? Like craft the epic level. This is what you need to craft the epic healing potion that heals ridiculous amounts. You take that and scale it back and you don't want to use something like Xanathar's. You can use that to be your crafting rules for potions. Um, and Velvet Alleys is the 34-5. There's no party like a Nexus party. By unlocking the Velvet Alleys, Nexus Entertainment District becomes a place where adventurers of all stripes can kick back, relax, spend cash, and party like it's first edition. With 10 additional pages of high-quality content, this will be developed by the WebDM team, bringing their extensive 5th edition experience and creative flair to the city of Nexus. We're excited to see what they have in store for the City of Legends. And that's it. Then we've got our little bit about shipping, Europe shipping friendly. Uh, here's all the different 2C gaming products that have come out thus far. Um, and then the standard Kickstarter information. So I will be backing this. Likely I'll only be backing it at the deluxe print because I like having high quality books. And I already have the one, so I don't need both. So I'll probably be backing at the $75 level. But I'm curious what you guys think. I wanted to go ahead and put this out there because 2C Gaming is going to be at Gen Con where I'm also going to be. So I'm going to be swinging by their booth to say hi, maybe snag an interview. But hey, if you're checking this out and you're going to pick this up or you already have backed it, as you can see, there's already 240 backers that we can't see because I clicked off it, but you know what I mean. Um, I would say swing by their booth at Gen Con and say hi. Nothing makes people prouder or happier when they're like, hey, I backed your Kickstarter. And like, that's just awesome to let them know. And, you know, like I said, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be sure to check out the booth and say hi. I look, I'm very much looking forward to this. I've ne always wanted to play a campaign that went from 1 to 20. The idea of playing from one that goes from 1 to 20 and then goes from 20 to 30 just blows my mind. And it sounds amazing. So... I always had the delusions back in 3.5 that my campaign was going to go that high, and it never did. So I hope yours does. Or maybe a one-shot, you just do an epic level one-shot. You say, everybody, we're going to make level 22 characters, or 25 characters, 30 characters, and just go crazy. Um, anyway, go ahead and check out the Kickstarter. Uh, if you like what you see and you like what I've said here, feel free to back it. Uh, again, 27 days left to go. I've got plenty of time. Uh, also, like I said, if you swing by the booth at Gen Con, maybe you can get some more information about it uh, if you're on the fence, and then you'll still have more than enough time to back it after you get home from Gen Con. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick spotlight, and I'll see you next time.